Hi, and thanks for watching. Today I want to do a quick review on my Dryzerbone Jumbuck vest. Uh, Dryzerbone are a company that have been around for a very long time in Australia. They're quite famous uh, for outerwear, so wet weather gear, uh, and wet weather gear that has um, an oily finish or a waxed cotton, um, that type of thing is, is what they do. Uh, most recently they've started to branch out into more fashionable um, items uh, or seasonal items I should say using a, a dry desert wax which is which is um, most of their products that, that use the dry desert wax um, uh, is, is imported. Uh, this particular garment is made here in Australia. Um, it's a cotton uh, outer shell and it's been treated with dry bones um, oil or, or their wax. Um, which they recommend if, if when you do come to reapply that, that you use the same uh, dry bone uh, wax. I've had this garment for maybe three, nearly four years I'd say. Um, I bought, or this is another piece that I bought from uh, Everything Australian. Um, so Sam at Everything Australian. Uh, it's in pretty good nick. Um, it's in very good nick. I wear it quite often uh, for, for various reasons. I wear it to work. Um, I wear it on the weekends. I've worn it fishing. So I want it to the beach. Um, it keeps the wind out really nicely. It keeps the weather out quite nicely too. Um, yeah, I've, I've had it for nearly four years and I haven't reapplied yet and it's still beating up if I do get caught in the rain, um, which is what it's designed to do uh, with the with the um, the oil or the wax wax treatment. Uh, the finishing touches on the on the garment are really good. Um, it's got a nice cord uh, collar here, which. Uh, keeps the film because uh, the oil, um, the oil skin or that wax cotton can sometimes leave a bit of a, a film um, on your skin. So this basically just uh, is a bit of a luxury that that helps uh, stop that on your neck. Um, can sometimes feel a little bit cold or or a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you've got a breast pocket here, which is quite big or big enough to fit a, an iPhone. Um, it's lined, so you're not going to get a you know, any residue, not that you get a lot of residue um, on this garment anyway or off this garment, um, but uh, you've got a, a lined pocket here, so um, can fit an iPhone. Uh, I, I've got an iPhone 10, so um, one of the smaller iPhone 10s, it fits that quite nicely. Um, you've got two large pockets with really good quality um, uh, studs. If you can hear this, I'll try and just clip it in. Like it's, it's very, very good quality. Um, um, I quite often uh, am quite lazy when I open up my pockets. I'll just, you know, sort of rip them open. Um, whereas I should probably, you know, do one at a time to, to preserve the, uh, the studs. But look, there's no issues. There's no, um, you know, no fraying or uh, coming away from, uh, from the garment themselves. It's still really solid. Um, you know, just a really good quality uh, make. Uh, the pockets are quite large. You know, you can sort of fit, all my hands open here, you can fit the, my whole hand in here. Um, I will demonstrate the zip. I left the zip open, I'm just doing this one-handed, but if, again, if you listen to the stud, um, it's quite, quite uh, crisp, uh, quite solid. Um, the zip, it's a YKK zip. It's really smooth to open. Um, inside, you've got a fully uh, woolen lined inner uh, part of the jacket. Um, initially, I was a little bit worried about shedding. So um, some of these jackets can get get what's called just a, a bit of a shed from the wool because it is it's it's actual wool. Um, I was told that hairspray, uh, you know, could be an option if you're worried about that. I never worried about it. I never really sprayed it with hairspray, but um, you know, I guess I was just lucky. I didn't really get a a, a shedding jacket um, as such. Um, uses for this jacket, look, uh, work purposes, outdoor purposes, it's just a really good jacket um, or vest to have, uh, to layer with a jumper or something underneath, even just a t-shirt, um, you know, on a spring day or, or, or you know, it's a fairly mild uh, day. Um, pricing, pricing, I think at the moment, I just checked online, it's about $320, uh, 320 Australian dollars, which now it's fairly expensive, um, I guess you, look, you're gonna have this, this piece for a very long time if you do decide to pull the trigger on a, um, on a dry bone garment, um, particularly a lot of the, this garment here or, or something of this range, which is their traditional oil skin range. 
um, you're gonna have it forever, provided you look after it, um, you reproof it when it needs to, um, you're gonna have it for a very, very, very long time. Um, you know, sometimes people say, oh, you can get mold uh, on your jackets, on your oil skin jackets. Look, if you if you dry them out the way that they're supposed to, they're supposed to and you just don't, you know, roll them up type of thing after you've, uh, you've had a bit of rain, um, you'll be fine. Um, look, I've got no mold on mine, I sort of look after it and if it does get wet, I just let it dry naturally. Um, that's about it for the for the clip. Um, if there's any questions, please feel free to uh, to comment, um, um, and I'll, I will I will come back to you. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, and that's my dryzer bone jumbuck vest. Thank you.